I like to think of an Excel VBA variable as a place to store information. And this is certainly a good starting point if you're looking to understand what an Excel VBA variable is. We could compare an Excel VBA variable to where we usually store information in a spreadsheet, which is a spreadsheet cell. And this is a good starting point. Thinking of an Excel VBA variable as similar to a cell in the spreadsheet in that it's somewhere that we can store information. Now, what kind of information are we looking to store? We're looking to store information that's going to help us with VBA programming. It's going to help us to control macros, to make them powerful and robust so they can get lots of work done. Now, in order to understand what I mean, uh, we're going to look at some examples first. And then later on, we're going to talk about the difference between a variable and a cell in the spreadsheet and why a variable is better and how variables can really help us. So let's look at some examples. And there is a download file on the blog post um, with this video on the website. You can go to there and download the file, kind of work along with me. But we've got some examples of variables in there. Now, the first example we'll look at is an integer variable for controlling a for next loop. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you would have, you'll see me use these loops all the time a for next loop. For example, a simple counting loop to count to one to 10, that variable is controlling the loop. It's controlling how many times we're going through the loop. So it's achieving control. A simple integer variable, which is a whole number variable. A second example also to do with loops, uh, using a for next loop and some kind of object variable. For example, we can say to Excel, loop through all of the cells in this range, loop through all of the workbooks uh, in all of the open workbooks at the moment. There again, we're using a variable. In the, in the videos, you'll see me say something like dim Chris cell as range. So that's me declaring an object variable, in this case, a range. And that helps us to control the loop. So again, variables storing some information that's helping us to control a powerful mechanism, in this case, a loop. So we often see variables working with loops, but where else do we see uh, VBA variables? Well, we've already mentioned an integer variable. Integer variables work up until about 32,000, and then we need a different type of variable, which is a long, a long variable. Now, a long variable is for a bigger number. And if we had some kind of numerical model and we wanted to test lots of values, put lots of values into that model, and then I ask Excel or ask VBA to remember the best output, to remember the biggest number, we could use a long variable there. As Excel is working through those numbers, putting them into the model, we can get a VBA using the variable to remember the highest value and then to return that value in a message box at the end. So again, we're using a variable to store some information in this case, the best uh, output from the model. But variables aren't just to do with numbers, talked about integer variables and long variables. You may have seen string variables in Excel VBA. Now, a string variable is to do with text. And these are useful, well, in lots of situations, but recently I've been doing a project uh, where I've been working with lots of different workbooks. And I want VBA to return to the original workbook. So I've been using this line of code, uh, WB name equals active workbook dot name. That means that the name of the workbook, the original workbook is stored in that variable. I can then use that variable later on to return uh, to the active workbook. So we've got some examples there. One more, which sounds a bit obscure, but also incredibly powerful is a Boolean, a Boolean variable. This variable is a true or false variable. It allows us to control, uh, you know, a certain condition um, in a VBA routine and then get Excel to do something if a condition is met uh, or not met. That's a Boolean variable. So there's some examples there. As I said, there's a download file. Have a look at the download file. There'll be some annotations there to help you understand those examples. So ho hopefully that's helped you build an understanding of how we use variables and what they can do uh, in Excel VBA. Let's deal with this process of declaring variables. So in VBA routines, you see this kind of obscure line of code at the beginning, which is dim counter as integer, or in my videos, I say dim Chris cell as range. So what are we doing there and why is it important? Well, this is the process of variable declaration. And there's two important points here. The first point is variable declaration allows us to tell Excel what kind of variables we want to use. 
what kind of information we want to use. Now, why is, it, why is this important? It's important because it helps Excel to organize its memory. Now, I like to think of Excel's memory as one of those beautifully uh, built, custom-designed wardrobes that you get in really nice houses. It's one of those big wardrobes that's got lots of spaces, you know, for your socks and your clothes and different things. Lots of spaces for different things, beautifully designed, different size spaces, so that you can quickly get to things, so you can work efficiently and get your business done. That's exactly what um, Excel is asking us to do. It's saying, listen, what kind of information do you want to store Tell me that so I can organize my memory and then store and recall the, the information in this variable quickly. So, for example, if we're saying dim counter is integer, we're saying to Excel, listen, this, this variable, this little piece of information here is going to be a number. So you only need a little bit of your memory. I think it's only two bytes, tiny amount of memory uh, to be allocated to this variable. So this is, uh, yeah, dim counter is integer. The last bit as integer with... Uh, declaring the type of variable that helps Excel to organize its memory, so it's important. What about the other learning point here? The other learning point is dim counter as integer. What about this counter word? So when we're doing this declaration, we have to give the variable a name. Now, we can give the variable a very simple name. We can say uh, X or Y or Z, and I see a lot of people when they get started with programming doing that. Now, again, if you've watched videos on the channel, you'll know that I like to use kind of long variable names, but I call them informative variable names, informative variable names. They're informative because the name of the variable tells us what the variable does. Now, if you're working on a complex project, you might have 10 variables in a routine, you might have 100 variables in a module, so it really helps to be able to quickly understand what the variable does. So for me, that little bit of additional typing, that that's really worth it. When I come back to a project later, I can look at the variable, quickly understand what the role of the variable is. Informative variable names combined with some helpful annotations, the green notes in the VBA editor, they really make things, uh, make things easier to understand. So we've talked about applications of variables. We've talked about uh, the declaration process uh, and why that is important. So let's return to the initial comparison we made. Remember, our basic definition is that a VBA variable is a place to store information, just like a cell in a spreadsheet is a, space to, a place to store information. And with most uh, VBA routines where we're using a variable, we could substitute a cell for the variable in order to do to, to in order to get the job done so if we're just counting one to ten we could use a, a cell in a spreadsheet to control that process but that's not really it's not it's not helpful doing that it's better to use a variable what are the advantages of the variable well a variable is efficient so excel can quickly work with a variable uh, the vba editor can change the value quickly it's more efficient it's certainly faster than having to interact with a spreadsheet. Every time Excel interacts with the spreadsheet, changes something in the spreadsheet, uh, in a VBA routine, that takes time. In comparison, it's much, much faster just to change the value of a variable, so it's more efficient. It also offers us, from the programmer perspective, more control, more control. Uh, this is because a variable is usually hidden unless we want to display the value in the variable to, to, to the user the variable is usually hidden, which means it's difficult for the user to mess with either accidentally or deliberately. That gives us more control, robustness. That means the spreadsheet is less likely uh, to break down. So two important reasons why a variable is better than a cell. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it stops um, the routine breaking down. You know, we can control it and it's more efficient. So we've got control and efficiency there. So hopefully uh, this video gives you an idea of what an Excel VBA variable is. It's a place to store information. Now, the best way to learn about Excel VBA variables is to learn by doing. So I really recommend getting stuck into our uh, VBA for Beginners playlist. There'll be a link below this video. Get stuck into that playlist. You'll see loads of applications of different types of variables. That's the best way to get to grips uh, with this topic. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'd love it if you subscribed to the channel, got into the videos. I've got hundreds of videos on the channel now and, you know, um, learned Excel VBA 
uh, with me, very happy to help you out there. So I hope to see you in another video on the channel.